if she complains of an error, if her, if she complains of her, her why is that hard? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep staring at you. Hello and good morning everyone. Happy summer, happy summer day. Everyone keeps saying, how is your summer going? I'm like, it's been great. It really has been great. How is this girl doing? Good. Broken arm, first day with the cast yesterday. How did you sleep? Good. Good? I slept like this. She normally sleeps on her right side. So I think sleeping has been a little bit of a challenge for her. She slept in Rye Guy's room last night on his yeah. extra bed. She's been trying to sleep on her left side. It was a little challenging. I could tell in my bed when she was sleeping with me. That's yeah. just not natural to her. It just like... But now she can put her arm up like this, roll on her side, sleep. She did awesome. I posted some pictures over on our Instagram. They're just really cute. They're just really sweet. You go on over to our Instagram at this is Howie Bingham. You will see so many cute pictures of her there. She was such a trooper yesterday getting her cast on. I fully expected her to cry when she was getting the cast squoze. Squoze in? Squeezed? Squeezed? Did, did, did. We're squeezing on her cast. So her cast is a really interesting shape if you didn't see it in yesterday's video. It reminds me of a Toblerone bar, which is so random. They squoze these two sides. You can see they kind of look Look triangular like really, really tiny. and then the bottom is really flat and then same with back here they made it really flat right there so they just shaped I didn't it notice that. they shaped it really weird Brandon said yesterday that echoing what the doctor said crooked casts make straight bones so we're going with I think she's doing really good with the cast she's trying to wiggle her fingers as much as possible because they are still really swollen she has asked if she can take breaks from putting her arm up so I'm propping her up on a couch with her arm up above and I know it's not comfortable all day long she doesn't love it but she's swollen, so we're trying to take care of everything. You're going to enjoy this beautiful summer day. We actually are gonna get outside today and take care of some stuff out in the yard. Daisy is allowed to be out there. She just has to be careful. So they gave us the full rundown of what to do with the cast. No trampolines. We're gonna have fun. It's gonna be great. Thank you so much. Like, honestly, from my mama heart, thank you so much for sending so many well wishes and praying for Hazy and praying for our family. You guys have been so awesome. Whole family, mostly Hazy. We're just so grateful, so thank you, thank you. Got Hazy all ready for the day. She chose her outfit. She chose short sleeve shirt, which actually fits really well because it's a higher sleeve and a cute little skirt. You look awesome. She wanted a high pony, but the thing is, it was all of this hair is probably broken off from wearing ponytails, so I know I'm like feeding the problem right now, but it falls in her face and she doesn't have her hand she's used to using to clear her face, so hair has just been sitting in her face. She's done a lot of high ponies. I did this one to keep it all out of her face. We just need to be really careful with it. Yeah. I have to leave because I was ah. supposed to get my nails done two weeks ago. I'm gonna go do that right now. Here is the the chore. Rye guy's gonna help film. School's over. That means your lockers here at home need to be cleaned out. The lockers at school were cleaned out. Maybe that means it's time to clean out the lockers here at home. Okay. Sound like a good plan? Can Sounds you do that? Sounds easy. Yeah. I'm leaving Ryler in charge. These lockers so awesome. Ryler has pretty much done his completely. Rex and crew need to do theirs and I'll help Hazy do hers later. What needs to happen? You need to take out all the old dirty socks and gym like clothes. Seven pairs of gym clothes in there. I know. School supplies. School supplies, yeah. Throw the papers away if they're garbage. Wipe them out, vacuum them out. If your shoes don't fit, let's donate them. Coat can be put away. The sweatshirt can be put away. Water bottle probably needs to be washed. Okay. Still All right. smells fresh. Right, guy, I'm gonna hand this over to you because I gotta leave. Currently cleaning out our lockers like mom asked. Crew, how's it going? Pretty good. Got some shoes. Just so you know, I'm just gonna put this as a little tip. If you guys are buying dunks, the paint just comes off so easily. Or you just wear them a lot. Yeah. I feel like splitting out. room of souls. And I've had these for like a year. As long as I've had my blue ones. Only the bottom is dirty. And there's like some spots on the white. Perfect. They don't really crease that much. Yeah. So. Also, your gray ones, they're white, so it looks more dirty. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, wear those things true. like as your daily driver. You just wear them all the time. <laughs> I'm finished with my locker. I got my Jordans up top. And I have my Crocs down here, and down below I have my Air Forces and my other pair of Jordans. My locker is pretty dang simple. I just have a hat in there. Crew has so many shoes, dude. He has LeBron's and then so his Kyrie's. So I have LeBron's and my basketball got shoes. Alien shoes. Uh, Bow runners, runners. Yeezys. Yeezys. And we got the gray dunks and, then and some the Jordans. And then I have some more shoes upstairs. Rexy, how's your locker coming? Then if I empty my backpack, it has the gear. Like, oh, don't worry, there's pop charts in oh, here too. Boy. Found those in there randomly. Sheesh. <laughs> Still dirty. Oh my heck. Well, <laughs> because I have to do it with my mom. Yeah, you got a broken arm. Yeah, we're just I gonna finish it. this up, get everything done, and then just hang out until my mom gets back. It'll be a pretty fun day. 
we're doing a little bit of, I guess, what are we, spring, summer cleaning? I don't know what you would call it, but basically, with Hazy kind of taking care of, we've now got that appointment out of the way. She's in her cast, yep. she's chilling, she's doing good, feeling good. We can get back to some of the normal life things that have to be done, some of the chores and routines that happen in summer to keep your house beautified yeah. and running smoothly. One of those being, I don't know if mom's already mentioned this, so if it's repeat, I apologize, but we have put in all new sod. Yes. Landscaper's amazing. You're gonna find out just how amazing he is in a second here. Yeah. He's so amazing. When the grass didn't quite take over the winter, he said we could nurse it back to health, but that's no fun to spend your first summer yeah, in your no. new home nursing grass back to health. So he replaced everything at his own cost, right. took care of it all. We got it fresh, fresh, fresh. We were told can't mow it or walk on it or anything like that for yeah, three yeah. weeks. So he said, wow, it's kind of a long time. We're gonna obey that. We're gonna stay off of it. It has since grown to be the size of a pretty good sized jungle. I would say we've got like the Amazon rainforest in yeah. our backyard. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Literally the other day, Jared came over, little Finn got out into the yard, and if he, he stood in it, him. couldn't see him. The yeah. grass was taller than a dog. So that's how tall it is out there. So we talked to him. landscaper. He said, you are free to mow it. I would definitely get on that as soon as you can. Been a little bit of nuance to that because it was very, very wet and so it's been soggy and so when you step in it, yeah. you sink a little bit. Couldn't figure out how to turn off the sprinklers to get it dry <laughs> enough to be able to mow it because the sprinkling yeah. system is a little bit complicated, a little bit more robust than what we're used to. Got all of that sorted. So we finally decided, let's go ahead and let's mow this thing. Then he said, hope you don't have like an electric mower or something <laughs> like that because we'll not be able to handle grass this tall because it is so big, so thick, so tall. So here's how amazing he is. He is loaning us his two personal lawnmowers that he yeah. mows his own lawn with so that we can get this thing started. So we're gonna start it off on the highest setting, trim the top layer because it is so dang tall. We're going right now, right guy and I to go pick up the lawnmowers from his house, bring them back here. We're gonna tag team mowing this lawn. That's gonna be the beginning of the process. I mow the top layer and I think we wait like a day or maybe even the next day, pick it down a notch, mow another layer. So we're yeah. gonna be doing a lot of mowing so over the next little bit. Grass I think is going to look spectacular. Yeah. It's gonna be so nice to I'm actually excited. see it mowed, see how great it looks. But the first step is going and getting those lawnmowers, getting them back here. And then I'll show you guys just how long this grass That's has crazy. gotten. <laughs> I like those headphones. Eh? Actually, oh my gosh, it's heavy duty. We are back now with the two commercial grade lawnmowers. We got two lawnmowers trying back to mow here. Two guys willing to mow. We did not take into account that we have 19 pretty steep railless stairs to get one of these lawnmowers down. <laughs> we'll figure that out. We want to show you guys just how out of control this jungle is here. In fact, if you are familiar with Guns N' Roses, cue the welcome to the jungle montage right now because we are about to enter the jungle. Maybe go give some perspective, like put your foot or your hand in there. This is how tall the grass has gotten and at the top, it's just all seeds. It goes up to like a little Dude, bit Dude, it's below. almost like to your knee in some spots. We were told not to mow it for three weeks. We didn't. We watered it nicely. Guess what? It worked. It's growing. It looks amazing. But now we're going to take the top layer off. Told us to put it at the absolute highest setting possible. We're just going to scrape off that top layer. Going to have to bag so I can't even imagine the amount of times we're going to bag. These bags are not big, not made for this much grass. But what we'll do is we'll do the top layer. Then we actually have to water it, let it sit for a day, and then take it down a notch, mow again, take it down a notch, mow again. So literally, the theme of our life coming up for the next few days is just going to be mowing, mowing, and remowing. It's kind of fun. We're going to get really intimate with this yard. We're going to get to know it really, really well. Once we do, then we'll probably hire somebody else to do it. Oh my gosh, right guys. Bro, my dad's gonna be full already. <laughs> Can't even see the mower. Didn't even know that was there. <laughs> we had suspected that you could probably couldn't do like more than two passes before you had to bag. They weren't just kidding. as bad as we thought. He has done out there once and back. That's it. Bag's completely full. This is gonna take us a while, dude. We got this. We got this. Bro, am I good? Okay, I'm not that good here. Bench is back up, booyo! I don't know if the GoPro really gives the best perspective with the wide angle there. lens, but that corner back there is so tall. That would go to my knees for sure. One of the things that we were racing to beat was the thunderstorm that was coming in. We had to do this while the ground was dry and firm enough to walk on. So we've honestly come out of breath. We've been going as fast as we can. We've got about six 55 gallon bags filled with grass. We've got the top layer all done with a little bit of light edging and weeding. And just now thunder and lightning is forming over this mountain over here. Just saw the hugest lightning strike followed by a thunderclap that almost knocked me out of the truck. Rain is imminent on its way, but we beat it. We got the yard work done. Now we're gonna get a little nice natural watering from mother nature. Right on cue. As if 
our sweet Hazy hasn't had enough going on. The last couple of days, she has been a little bit congested, and today she started really complaining that her ear hurt. Mm -hmm. But now it kind of feels better. It just okay. feels weird. I gave you like ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah, whenever I talk, it just feels weird. I'm gonna take her to the doctor, see if she has an ear infection. Yeah. I mean, broken arm, having an ear infection. And it's on my right ear. It's on her right ear. We're gonna go get her to the doctor and see what the update is there. Yard's all done, it looks amazing. Ryler and Brandon crushed it. I am in love. Love being able to walk on it, that feels awesome. That was sick, dude. That was sick. Good news, Hazy does not look to have an ear infection. Well, it kind of does. Okay. It looks like the start of one. The doctor did the full assessment and he's like, if she complains that her ear hurts tomorrow, fill the antibiotic. If she doesn't, then she's got some congestion in there. And this I don't know. poor girl, she cannot catch a break. She's been through the ringer. No pun intended, because she did catch a break. Oh <laughs> but really, she can't catch a break. She goes from broken arm to potential ear infection. But I'm loving snuggling up with her. I do feel really, really bad though. We ended up having like this impromptu pool party tonight and she was so distraught. She literally said, me a message that said, I'm mad at you just so you know, because I joined the party and I started swimming. And I was kind of like the one person who was staying out and I was gonna like snuggle with her, but then her mom went and got snow cones and I was like, okay, if they're doing her snow mom. cones, her and mom <laughs> went and got snow cones. I stayed back, watched the kids that were swimming and then ended up getting in and then she came back from snow cones and it was like, I got busted. She was sad. <laughs> she was like, I mad. just can't do that. So I immediately got out of the pool, dried off and we've been snuggling a little bit. So sweet hazy girl, just making the most of this rocky kickoff to summer, but you guys yeah. have been filling the home with love you guys are awesome. and support. You guys are incredible. There has just been mom, but it's really cool reel of her going and getting her cast. You guys have been so nice over there on so Instagram. Cute. If you haven't seen that, it's really, really cute. We did the when she was three picture and then the now picture. Mom did an entire reel out of it. So go check it out on our Instagram. Real awesome. Bingham. She's real good at this. You guys are really awesome. We really love you. Make sure you come back tomorrow. We got a lot of fun plans coming out this weekend, which the kids have reminded me over and over again. Every day is the weekend right now because it I is know. summer. I need some ideas of stuff to do with Hazy that is not swimming. I'm going to have to fill Snow in cones the is a fun there. one. I'll tell you, I am I am jealous. You guys got snow cones. I've done the pool. Every day I've done the pool. I know. I have not done a snow cone yet. I want a snow cone. I actually found on a related note Skittles flavored cotton candy. Candy and Starburst Reds flavored cotton candy. So I got both. Oh my gosh. Break those out tonight. Love you so much. We're so grateful that you're here. Come back because it's the weekend every single day. <laughs> you guys will see you later. Good night, everybody. Oh, wait, we need to get ready what? for Disney. Okay, we gotta do that. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See? Want some? Wait, it's not actual Skittles or no, it's Starburst? Cotton candy, but they're flavored like Skittles. So I will do you tell wanna you, know what's funny? Both, the Skittles one is better. I'm not crazy about cotton candy like you are. Gosh, that's it. Out of the family. Boys want some? Mm. If she complains of an ear, if her. If she complains that her hurt, why is that hard? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep staring at you. <laughs> I'm in a yawn. <laughs>